After over 100 hours of intense search operation, the rescue team has finally spotted the wreckage of the chopper. Owing to difficult terrain, a small team is now left on foot for the crash site. Information which is not encouraging. In fact, uh, it is not good news. Between a place called Kela, K Y E L A, and a place called Lugudang, L U G U D H A N G. A party sent by the circle office has sighted what appears to be the crash of an aircraft. The party also says that they have sighted three bodies. That this sighting has been made from a height. They have not been able to actually go down to the place where the aircraft has crashed. They have therefore sent word that they have been able to sight the crash of an aircraft as well as three bodies. So a message has been given to the army post in Kela, which is the nearest army post. The army post there has dispatched a team on foot. They have not yet reached the site where we think that the bodies are lying. About the crash and about the uh, identification of uh, dead body. Uh, this is a report of the local people who had gone to the uh, crash site and which was reported by one of the uh, serving clerk of the civil administration of Tawang district. The official team with senior officers, they are on the way. So the detail of the, uh, the situation and the, uh, the official confirmation can be done only once the senior officials from the district and from the various other agencies reach the spot. So we all are on the way to the spot and uh, uh, the immediate confirmation is not possible because the, the reported crash site is uh, uh, in a very difficult uh, terrain and very high altitude. So it will certainly take some time. So till then, uh, the report, yes, it is of a crash and the dead bodies have been uh, found. But uh, about the chief minister's body and all, these are uh, to be confirmed once uh, we come back from the spot. And the airlifting for the retrieval of the bodies are being considered and we have not been uh, reported as of yet whether the air uh, lifting uh, this procedure is successful or not. The chief minister, uh, the second son, was not in the site. He was leading a uh, group of people in Bhutan side, in the Bhutan border side. This, uh, this particular place has been um, found out by uh, some people in Lugutang and uh, one of uh, the clerk who is serving with uh, the circle office, the last circle office of our uh, Tawang district that is in Mago circle, Mago. So the people who have uh, found the crash site, uh, some people are there in the spot and some people have uh, rushed out to pass on the information. Till this moment, there is no formal, no formal identification. But since it is a village, villagers have identified him. Some of his relations also have identified him. But so far as formal identification, it may come, may be possible today or even tomorrow. The desire of the public here that Honorable Chief Minister's body should be first brought to uh, this Itanagar. And there should be an opportunity to the people to pay homage to the departed Chief Minister. If this information is correct, then it is very sad news to every one of us. We are with, with the family member of, uh, let, uh, family member of our, our Chief Minister Dorje Kanto. If this is the fact, 
I request all the people to bear with this agony and with this sadness. Particularly, God may like to bless it, family members of Dorji and entire Tuang family, entire Orunachal family, to bear with this sadness. May that courage at least God may bless it, each one of us. Uh, his family members are all in Tawang. Uh, we have talked to them. It's a difficult time for them. Uh, and we have made a request to them to send the dead body to Itanagar at least for a day and they have agreed to it.